No, I just uh, had to use a fire extinguisher because it started smoldering in there and we... You are now watching Farming with Duffy Ag. Welcome back to the channel. Chopper is just about ready to rock and roll. Dave's here picking up milk. We're gonna get loaded with some inoculant, put some fuel in, and get going. So the mower is out mowing right now, and uh, I'm gonna go jump in the rake. The 4230 got an oil change this morning. We're gonna put that on the second mower, I believe, as of right now i gotta see if that's really my plan or not that i'm hoping it is and then uh efficiency we gotta get done this stuff's dragging on so all right let me pull over there load the inoculant tank up which is right there um with some water and some inoculant and then we just gotta put diesel in this we are on the move headed to concord so mower is done with the sections of fields that we were at yesterday where we dropped the mac um, and he's on to the next stop and I said do we want to run the other mower or are you going to be okay with just one he said I, I'm far enough ahead I feel okay with just one so I did end up getting the 4230 to run it took quite a lot of trial and error to figure out where that pump was actually timed so it is running how good it's running yeah we don't have a dyno to compare about I don't think it's going to be any world records um, as far as the 404 block but they're going to pack bunk with it so push with the loader pack with that which is perfectly fine i'm headed over then i gotta get, get to my 7520 and uh i'll start raking this stuff will be drier so we'll be chopping pretty quickly on this this stuff and the stuff he's mowing is actually really big yields um granted we're late so our nutritionist was just here He's like, How's, how are things going? I'm like, we are three weeks late. It, it, it's been a struggle as far as grass. Um, corn was halfway decent. We still got corn to put in. But I just, yeah. When it's go time, it's got to be go time. And it, everybody waited around when it was go time. And now uh, I'm behind because I can only do so much by myself. All righty. I'm gonna cruise over there and uh, I'll catch back up with you when we get in the 7520. Got the fleet all here. Just gotta go get my rake tractor, 7520, get raking. I'm waiting on a ride. Got my uh, leftover. I got two tacos from yesterday. Actually, I think I got three. So I got extra tacos so that I had something to eat today. And, uh, hey ponies. We'll, uh, walk up here and jump in the pickup when it comes by and go get the 7520. My one concern, do I fit through their entranceway? I'm not really sure. I don't know with the duels if I do or not. We're gonna find out though. Cut that up it settles um i'm walking back to the tractor and that is not a good sign um so i can't tell if it's rubbed through or if it's uh just the clamp you got quite a bit of liquid right in there so i'm gonna go walk back to the tractor 
It is dripping, so that's good. Um, the AC. So I'm gonna walk back to the chopper. The truck's on its way. And uh, we're gonna get chopping. And then I'll mess with this. Nothing, shouldn't be too, anything too crazy. That is a hell of a fleet. Looking good. Chopper's over there. Huh, Duffy Ag out here. Getting things done. Alrighty. Truck should be about here. My father's gonna, he's coming in the green truck. There's a freaking horse fly on my hand and I can't get it, slap it because I got a GoPro in one hand. There we go. Um, GoPro in one hand. My lunch. Which now it is, I don't even know, two o'clock. Well, I got some raisin beans on there. So. I'm drinking all my drink too. I don't have much left to drink. Somebody did ask if I drink any water or just Mountain Dew all the time. I don't know. I drink some Powerade. I drink some water. I drink a lot of water at night. Um. Yeah. But I don't know how many loads are really going to be here. Out there, there's quite a bit of feed. So the tractor's way over on the other side of, there's a pond in the middle. And I haven't raked any of this just because the trucks were sitting. I figured I'd do it last. But this is going to be a load and maybe a little bit more of the green truck. I probably got one, two, three, four, five total loads. I guess we'll see, but I'm going to go jump in the chopper, charge my phone. Still can't find the GoPro batteries. Which that's annoying. What do we got going on in there? Oh. Because GoPro batteries are going to be dead soon, too. Or the GoPro. And then you guys won't get any content. So I guess I better charge my GoPro instead. <sighs> I'm freaking tired. I'm getting wore out. I am burning. I am burning, uh my candle at both ends and eventually I'm gonna crash here but a couple more days grass will be done and we gotta finish some corn but at least that's all in the same area this jumping around just wears you out Yanko's pretty proud he's been hanging out with my father enjoying the AC but there he goes back in the truck stop to get a stick out of the row damn rake man really screwed that up the GoPro never does this justice. But this is some wild ground for us. And we got all sorts of things going on here. A lot of feed. A lot of feed indeed. Okay, when it first starts nodding up, make sure you stop because uh, you'll end up like me with a friggin' mess here. But pry bar's been, and I don't even have a knife with me. I got it all broke off or all split apart. We just gotta back up or pull forward, let it wrap, flip itself, and then pull the rest of it out. Make it more work for myself. Should have stopped sooner with it, but let me do that. Hopefully that holds. It should. We're okay. I think the line that goes up forward has a pinhole leak or something from bouncing around. Um, that's what I'm thinking, but I'm not exactly sure. We'll take it apart once we get this home. 
so keep pushing along much better holy smokes safety first so that locks the hydraulics so that stayed up in there that whole time not leaking i told them to bring me uh five gallons of hydraulic oil just to top it back off but otherwise we should be okay well i just uh what? had to use a fire extinguisher because it started smoldering in there and we yeah no, I think it was in the back there. We put a bunch of junk through this chopper today so far. So instead of letting it even think about catching on fire, I just pulled the trigger. Well, that got me real nervous. Um, I haven't really found anything that was actually smoldering, so I'm gonna avoid this stuff. We're gonna go over. Um, I got some wetter stuff that I'm gonna run through the chopper. This stuff's a little dry. Francisco says the next fields are all gonna be perfect. Um, I I don't like that. Chopper fires are well. If you watch Andy Horrigan's videos, you you saw his uncle's cousin, his cousin's um, chopper burns to the ground and they go up and. 10 seconds and you're done. You can never keep up with it, so. Um, I'm not really sure. I'm gonna go all the way out to the front. I think that's the, probably the wettest stuff that we got. Driving all over every windrow. That way I can get it through, flush it out if there's something in there burning. That would have been bad. Well, let that fire extinguisher off though. Blew that off. Borrowed my brother's backpack blower, but I'll go over and show you where. Yeah, he'll stay with me. So like in here, down in there, it just blows it around instead of blowing it through. So there's still a ton in there. And that just drops out the bottom. So same with the other side. All of this stuff, the blower just doesn't have enough oomph to blow any of this stuff out where air does. Air would have blown that all around. But I just wanted to blow it off because yeah, I don't want it on fire. That would not be good. So alrighty, we'll go off. Keep breaking. I got a truck waiting on me. He's half loaded and I got one more coming. And then those two loads will probably be our last loads for the night. Um, I'll get up early tomorrow and go raking. Yeah, I got grass wrapped around that wheel again. Not as bad, so we're gonna finish up. That way I got enough raked for uh, both trucks and I don't have to jump back in this till tomorrow morning. Decent amount of feed. Decent for sure. This is gonna be last load of the night. 7.40, so maybe I will have an early night. This stuff will be about perfect still in the morning. Kind of raked up. That stuff still, I'm letting it dry. I'll rake it in the morning and get going, but yeah. Filling trucks. Been a good day. Some breakdowns, some headaches. Not every day can be smooth. We did burn the chopper down, so that that was a plus. I was a little nervous about that. Yeah, that would uh, that would have made some great content, but definitely made me have a headache. So I'll get.
get him loaded, then I gotta go get the semi back that's across the street, and that's loaded, and that's my ride home. doggity damn mowers here so there is two more fields to get mowed on this street and then we're headed across town to ground that is going to get mowed and corn is going to get put in um i got a load on it and we're gonna boogie down the street oh, done early tonight it's planned so every time i say that then it curses me you've been having a good day anko you tell them that you partied all day. You want your window down? There you go, buddy. Well, he did shut it off. Look at that. Kill switch. Yep. Alrighty. Somebody did ask me um, what my new what my phone case is. So I've had punk phone cases for uh here ow my foot's in the door so punk i don't know if you guys can see that but punk phone case this one's got a little like a uh, magnetic stand so i can watch youtube videos or something but then it's got magnets so it pops back in i didn't order a yellow one but i'm a big fan of the yellow because uh i can see what's going on i don't get it had glass on it and uh, the glass was so hard to touch, I took that off. It's 25 or 50 bucks every time you shatter a screen to get a replacement one under warranty. So for the inconvenience of trying to have glass on it and everything else, I've just come to the realization that, hey, if I shatter it, I just get another uh, replacement glass cover. I think it's 50, I don't know. Stupid things, but I usually am I go through a phone a year or so. I either run it over, completely shatter the front and back and everything else, or it all falls apart. So these cases have been really good. But yeah, punk case. This was a new, newer design than the old one. But yeah, I got a brick. I got a uh, Note 20. So, you know, we're uh, business people. So we need the big phone, we need the pen. The pen's great for actually jotting notes and drawing stuff, circling things, screenshotting stuff and sending it to farmers or people about this is what you need to do. But I really should find myself a set of jakes for this, but we will see. That might be a winter project for this truck. That would, that would really make it uh, an animal. So when I say jakes, I mean jake brakes. Uh, which is just utilizing the engine to slow the truck down. The engine and the valves. But we're coming back down the farm road. Been a good day. So uh, three loads in the 10 wheeler, four loads in the green truck and a semi load and we really didn't start till late was doing a lot of stuff this morning um corn's looking good out there i'm very happy so we'll see how much feed is in the bunk these have been pretty these have been full loads long haul full loads yeah we're, we're uh increasing the bunk size quite a bit which is good I'm so ready to be done and get myself prepared for next cutting and actually hopefully have everything smooth. I guess they never used the 4230 to back bunk with. So I got a fresh oil change this morning, new fuel filters, put a new uh, fuel line on it yesterday that I had. Uh, ready to rock and roll. There's some update on the 7320, so we did get it home. Um, the mobile mechanic that has the ability to look at a DR computer 
tried some other stuff on it and realized that it is um, the ECU is the problem. At first they were saying the injection pump and I said I, I don't think so. That truck turning radius, it's garbage. I don't even know why. Oh, this thing turns. Oh, the other Mac turns better than that thing. Wow. Yeah, quite a bit of feed in there. So we still got quite a bit to go. Um, he just dumped his and they're pushing up the Mac with the loader. Not ideal, but it is what it is. Someday. I need a bunk tractor, I know. So we're gonna slide right up in here. First things first. Come out here, hit your tailgate, which then opens up your latch. And then you come back on over here. This is supposed to be hooked up underneath and I will show you after, but somebody had cut it, modified it. So we're making do with what we got right now. Um, but now back up to your pile. I'm gonna leave him so he's got enough room to get around and push up. So back right up here. Don't get on your pile because you don't want to be one of those. Hey, I flipped the tractor trailer over, you guys. So down here we got a PTO. Neutral. Yes, we still gotta do some figuring. And then third. Third works good for oh. Don't. I already did this once where I got it up in there. So that just holds it up. I know there's different ways of doing it. We could come off the back, but I like going like that. I think it's the ruggedest way. So now, let's put it in third. This piston needs to get rebuilt, but it's working for now. That's some good stuff. I still got some rotten stuff in the corner and I forgot about it this morning. So tomorrow we gotta do that. So, now that it's up, how's it come back down? Because we never added controls to the... So this is actually supposed to have a handle and move. Let me show you. Not the best thing, but it does work. You get underneath here. And that clicks it back. So this right here, we just gotta modify it and put a bolt through it so that it will move that. So somebody previously had it set up that way. But it's gonna slowly come back down. He's waiting on us to pack bunk but It's slowly coming. So Mark's on his 4230. And they're pushing up. Um, well, they're moving it up. Really need a big blade tractor with a lot of weight to make it justifiable. But as you guys see, that tractor moves again. Um, I'd say we got another 15, maybe 20 loads. So, 
Yeah, educational. Wow. Alrighty. I appreciate you guys watching along. We got uh, more trucking to do tomorrow, more chopping to do tomorrow. Yeah. You guys are awesome. I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one.